People often ask me what would be a great boat to get into boating for the first time. I'm up at boats.co.uk and they got this, which is a 2002 Fletcher Sports Cruiser 22 GTS. And I looked at this and thought, yes, that would make an awful lot of sense as a first boat. So I thought I'd make a video of it and bring it to you guys. Now it is actually in really nice condition. It's had one owner from new apparently. It's never even been anti -founded. Look underneath, this is all just polished underneath here because it's been kept on a hydro hoist its whole life. So it's kept out of the water when it's not being used. So hence, I need to anti it. It's a smart looking boat. It's got this lovely blue hole stripe on it. But one of the things I particularly like about it is it's got a Yamaha engine, but it's a diesel. And that makes for very economical running. And I'll come back to that when we go on board. I'll show you the engine. But it's a stern drive, so you can see how that tilts up there. When the boat's in the water, that just powers down. The other thing about this is it's the sort of size that you could trailer if you had a vehicle like a Range Rover or something like that, something really big and chunky. I'm told it's about two ton this one, so add on to a trailer as well, and you should be within the legal limit fairly easily, but do check on that before you do it if you're going to buy it, just be absolutely sure. But yeah, it's just about within that sort of size, and that of course means if you've got space at home, you can save yourself a ton of money by not keeping it on a marina. Anyway, let's go on around here. This is a Chris Craft next to it there, a lovely boat. A slightly different league. <laughs> These Fletchers are British built. The interesting thing about Fletchers is that it was started by a man called Norman Fletcher and he was very much into powerboat racing and all the Fletchers I've ever been out on have all punched... Oh, hello. Air brakes. <laughs> all the Fletchers I've been out on have always punched well above their weight in terms of seakeeping. I haven't been out on one of these particular boats but I would imagine this is the same. It is quite a smart looking machine, isn't it? It's all compact, but it's all there. You've got a little boarding ladder on the back. You've got a ski tow high. You've got this little bathing platform here. Fender basket. <laughs> we haven't even got into the boat yet. It's fantastic. Let's step on board. There's a transom door here. We'll just step over that for ease. And this takes us into the cockpit. This is quite a decent size. You can see you've got seating around here and across. I think there's an infill cushion to go in there, so it makes a great walkthrough without clambering over the seats, but it means you've got a lot more seating when you drop that in. Of course, it goes all the way on around. You've got this upholstery around here as well, so nice and comfortable. But also, you can see you sit quite deeply in the boat, and that makes them feel a lot safer, a lot more sheltered. And again, if you're new to boating, of course, and you've got a, maybe a young family or something like that, or somebody who's not quite so confident, that just makes the whole thing feel a little bit more reassuring. There's a little wet bar over this side, so there's a sink and there's a fridge underneath. These are cup holders. <laughs> there we go. It's quite cute, isn't it? And there's a stereo in here as well. And then you've got these seats up here. So you've got a, where uh, Jack is sat, you've got a um, navigator seat there, and then you've got a nice big helm seat over on this side. It's quite high as well, so you've got decent visibility out of that. You can see there's a footrest for it down there. This is the helm. It's all very straightforward, not dissimilar to a car in many ways. You've got your speed here in knots. You've got your engine RPM, and then you've got things like your oil pressure, your voltmeter, your water temperature, and power trim. That's the one thing you wouldn't have on a car, of course. <laughs> it's an aquatic car, I suppose. Throttle's over there. Trim button is actually on that, and this has got trim tabs as well, which is nice. And things like the horn and the lights and the bilge pump, engine room blower, and so forth. And that, I think I'm right in saying, is for a VHF radio. And it'll compass up there. To get onto the foredeck on this one, because there are no side decks, and the reason they've done that is because it's a compact boat and you want to have as much width as you can across here. So, no way around the side on this one. What you do to get up to the front is go up these steps, and there's an opening section of the windscreen. And step through there. And straight out onto the foredeck. It actually feels, when you stand here at the helm, it feels a nice, compact, manageable boat actually, because there's not a huge amount in front of you. When you look behind, you can see all the corners of it and you can see where you're placing it. Superb, let's go have a look inside. Now, it is a 22 foot boat, it is compact, but again, for weekending, you've got a nice little dinette in here, like so, and in fact, there is a shorter table leg. You can see it's sat on a table leg like that. If you take that table leg out and put a short one in, that drops down. There are infill cushions which are up there. They sit on top of it. And voila, 
as they say in Switzerland, you've got yourself a double bed. It's all quite nicely lined in here as well. Over here, that's a little table that will go out in the cockpit. And you've also got, I noticed, some covers under here. So my guess is it's probably got a canopy as well as a tonneau cover for the cockpit, which would be very useful. Um, let's move those out of the way because the other thing we've got in here is, if we lift that one up, there's a little chemical loo underneath there as well. So you have got toilet facilities on here. As I say, it's not a princess or a sun seeker, but for its size, you know, it's got all the kind of stuff that you'd want, really. I think it's a brilliant little boat. I actually, when I was looking for my first boat, looked at a Fletcher 19 GTS, which is a smaller version of this. So um, it was very much on my radar. There we go. That's the infill cushion that sits on the uh, where we walk through over the engine. So that's that little fella. And talking of engines, look at this dinky little light switch. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? Let's go and have a look back here. So, if we lift that up, we will find a Yamaha 370 SDI engine. That's a 3.7 litre. I'm not sure of the power, but my boat's got a 3.6 litre turbo diesel uh, and it's 260 horsepower. So I'm going to guess that's about the same. And if it is, this will be an absolute flying machine. My boat does over 30 knots and it's loads bigger than this. So this has got to be what? Mid-high 30s? It's going to really shift with that in, I would have thought. That's very nice. There is actually a... I'll be holding it while I talk to you. There we go. A stay. I'll hold that up. There we go. Again, it's all nice and tidy. And this is the kind of thing you want to be looking for when you're looking for a second-hand boat. I mean, boat of this age, 2002, she's 20 years old. You'd be sensible to have a survey anyway. But as a good starting point, if it's all looking neat and tidy, well, then, you know, it's probably worth pursuing, isn't it? That's excellent. And you can get to everything. So it is compact. It's a small boat. But that is kind of the whole point of it, isn't it? Keeps the price down and keeps the running costs down. And it also makes it very manageable when you're new to boating. Cool, let's pop that back up. There we go. And that can go back down thusly. There we are. It's a small boat, but we do like to cover all the bases here on Aquaholic, and we do also like to encourage you guys to get yourself afloat. And this is probably one worth coming to have a look at if it fits your budget and the kind of use you hope to put a boat to. So there we go. Many thanks to boats.co.uk. They had this one for sale. And many thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this one. Let me know if you're tempted. And maybe we'll see you out on the water in it. Take care. Bye-bye.